Hi Cancer and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. Um, we're going to take a look at what's coming in for you here um, in terms of love and romance. As always guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So this reading is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. Okay, there's something that's going on here, Cancer. Um, wow. Okay, it feels like some of you may be dealing with... Uh, some of you are romantically involved with an energy that feels like they're really hurt or they're hurting here, okay? And I feel like this person is projecting their hurt, their heartbreak or their emotional anguish onto you. In your water energy, water energies have this... It's a blessing and a curse um, where they sort of have this tendency to absorb other people's emotions or other people's energies here um, and I feel like this is what's happening here there is someone who I feel like this person is emotionally invested they are emotionally involved and I feel like that's important for you to know going into this because some of you I feel like maybe on the brink of giving up or some of you are really questioning you're really questioning whether or not this is going to work out um, Maybe it is someone whom you've had, I feel like maybe some of you are going through something with this person. Um, you know, maybe the two of you are separated or you, this is someone who might have, um, I feel like maybe this person broke up with you or maybe they're the ones that are trying to initiate like some sort of space or distance between you. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's a permanent space here. Um, I know despite the, you know, you could argue that the Ten of Swords has this sense of finality. I mean, the figure here, he's got Ten Swords driven in his back. I mean, that, that's pretty final. That's a final looking picture right there, right? But then you've got that sun that crests the horizon and it sort of breaks through those dark clouds, indicating, you know, a period of renewal or a new beginning. It tells us that something here has to end in order for the dark clouds uh, to lift here. So... I feel like maybe this person is trying to end things with you because or they're trying to you know move away or they're trying to sort of um, distance themselves maybe because they're aware to a degree to an extent that they are projecting their hurt their pain onto you maybe this person as I mentioned they are emotionally invested you've got the king of cups um, it can be said that maybe this is someone who is in love with you or you know is in the process of falling in love with you however I feel like this person is trying to it's like they want to give you some time or some space or give themselves some time and some space. And it's almost, it's like, it's in an attempt to protect you from themselves. I know it sounds a little bit complex. That's because it is complex, he can. So you are dealing with someone who I feel like is hurt. Now, this person could be hurt by your actions, though, or they may have been hurt previously. There may be some sort of emotional trauma or an emotional pain that weighs them down. Um, this person is trying to hold on and they're trying to be strong in this relationship for you and for themselves. But I feel like, you know, there are periods and this is what explains for some of you, you don't you don't quite get why this person is hot and cold and why they're so into you. And then the next day they feel so like a foreigner. They feel like a stranger. Um, it's because internally this person has a lot going on. It could also be that this person might have, they may be prone to mental, um, in, like for example, uh, mental disorders or anxieties or depressions here. Okay, so, you know, in the midst of trying to battle those, they're also trying to battle their feelings and they're also trying to stay strong and try and you know, keep themselves together here for you and for the connection. So you are dealing with someone who I feel like is burdened with some pain or some stress here. Um, and I am seeing that this person, they say that hurt people hurt others the most. So look, I don't think there is malicious motivation or malicious intent. I just don't know that this person is aware that they are hurting you or they're not aware that, you know, in them trying to distance themselves from you, they are trying to create this space. And like I said, it's, it's a way of, it's a way of them trying to protect you from themselves because to, to an extent, I do feel like they're kind of aware that, you know, they're hurting you or that their words or actions um, are causing some sort of pain here. Uh, however, I feel like 
um, maybe they're not quite sure like maybe you're like you're left a little bit unsure when they try to pull away and try to distance themselves uh, from you you're not for you you probably think that this person is losing interest or you know they just no longer care they're no longer invested that's not the story that and that's not the case but um, I don't feel like this person explains themselves and also I feel like your, your person he holds back communication okay they sort of keep to themselves you know they've got the hermit energy it's their um, coping mechanism it's how it's how they've always been sadly I feel like it's how they'll be as well I mean they've been programmed you know it's a paradigm that they've carried for you know X amount of years it's, it's hard for them just to change like that I guess um, so you know when things are challenging and when things are emotionally difficult for this person for this energy they tend to pull away they tend to shut down they tend to withdraw they can also be just naturally a very reserved withdrawn kind of energy and um, but it also can be because this person is emotionally guarded here um, because you are coming up as a page of cups I feel like some of you um, I feel like you are hopeful okay and especially the page of cups being on top of the five of pentacles the way the pentacles line up in the window like that it's like to me the story I get here is someone here is trying to hold out hope for hope um, you know they it's almost like there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that may be so but at the same time make sure that you're actually seeing the situation for what it is okay so just because they're hurt it doesn't excuse them to go around hurting you as well so make sure you do you know you let them know you share with them you let them know how you're feeling as well because your feelings are you know as equally important as theirs as well it's a relationship it's a two-way street i mean it needs the both of you to make this happen so make sure that you're not taking on this you know this novelesque approach and that everything will be fine and everything will work itself out and i'll give this person time and space and they'll come around um yes they may come around but i feel like the rabbit hole you know it, it goes a little bit deeper here um I, I do feel like you have to sort of um vocalize yourself you have to let them know because right now you're sort of putting up with it and you're tolerating a lot and this person doesn't know boundaries um, or this person may not be like i said fully aware of what they're doing i can see that this is sort of like right now you're going through a period where it's really testing you it's testing your strength and it's testing your character it's also testing them someone he is trying to an energy he is trying to really stay strong okay for themselves for the other person for the sake of the relationship um but i can see that this has been ongoing okay so this is why i feel like you know this energy that's dealing with this emotional trauma it is something that may stem stem back to childhood issues or like previous relationships and it's something that they've been burdened with for quite some time they've been truly hurt here by um they've had some very painful endings and because this spirit this person has experienced some painful endings in the past um my concern here or the concern here rather is that they don't painfully end things with you okay so even against their wishes i say that because to that person that is a sense of normality okay to them that's normal because they've been exposed you know to that kind of pain or to those kind of endings in their um in their lifetime so you know this all ties in with projecting here so just make sure that you do speak up and hopefully maybe try and get this person help or try and be you know the support system that they need you to be um, but I do feel like it's very important that you look at this and see it for what it is than for what you want it to be okay guys these are your readings thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting I will be um, sharing with you more tarot love messages stay tuned bye for now